solve word puzzles and take your brain off of whatever else is stressing you out in your life. I know I am. And I want to take, I want you to take home a little free money. That's a no-brainer. How about that? You know how to play this game. Oh, baby, you're going to spin that beautiful wheel. You're going to get a free letter. I don't know, maybe you have a super spin. That's cool. Then you're going to use the keyboard, tap the correct letters. If you tap a wrong one, that's a strike. And if you get three of those strikes, you're out of the game. But if you type fast, if you solve, you're going to level up. That means you get more strikes, more points, more bragging in your future. I'm going to be so proud of you, you know? Hey, you know how I love to say, see you on the flip side? Well, tonight, I actually mean it. You'll see why in just a second. Ooh, it's such a good game. Should I just say, ooh, we've got such a horrible game for you. Because, honey, it's opposite night here on HQ Words. That's why I started backwards. You get it? And if you're like, opposite night, what does that mean? It literally means the hints will be opposite from the answers. Okay? Everyone has, you've been to opposite day in school, right? Or have you ever looked up uh, antonyms just as like a fun hobby? If you have, you're going to be great at this game. I mean, you're going to be not great at this game? <laughs> it makes you think. It makes you wonder. So, for example, if I say the hint freezing, the answer might be, say it with me, boiling, right? Easy, right? They're not going to be that easy. That was an easy example. But wait, there's more. Can you believe? There's more in the words of Scream. Uh, we've also got a hidden theme woven throughout this game. So if you catch on to that, it might help you with solving the opposite puzzles. And to guide you through this evening, hello, hi, I am your host, the queen of words. It is me, Anna Roisman. You better find me here. Any negative comments I see on social media tonight, you know what? They're going to feel great because I'm embracing that opposite day. I really am. Full force. Tonight, I will show you 12 puzzles. When you make it to the end of the game, you're going to take home some of that prize. It is $1,000. Ooh, what are you going to buy with that cash, huh? Ice cream? That's what I want. All right. Tonight, you start with five strikes on top of the strikes you already have from leveling up on season 13. And guess what? It's coming to an end. This Thursday is the end of season 13. Soon we will move on to 14. We're such teenagers now. I love it. <laughs> all right. It is time to spin that wheel around my face. Now, since tonight's puzzles are all about opposites, we asked you on Twitter for you to give us the opposite of your favorite word. And I'm going to guess what the favorite word was. So I'm giving a shout out to Allison, who said so we have the word dieting. dieting. You know what I'm going to guess? Oh, your favorite word is indulge, baby. Indulge. Dieting? What? No. Eat the cookies and the chips and the cheese and the pizza and the burger. I could go on. I could indulge all night long. Also, shout out to Lexi, who said dry. I know. I picked that word. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to say the word that everyone loves. Everyone begs me to say. The opposite of that is moist. Moist. I don't know why people have a problem with moist. I'm saying it. I said it. I don't love it, but I said it. All right. Also, if you feel like shopping for an extra life or a super spin, hey, go to that HQ shop. Have you checked it out? Have you gone? Have you perused the aisles? Buy one. Check it out. It's fun. All right. Right now, it's time for the first puzzle. The faster you solve, the more points you will earn. Don't forget, if you have your sound off, I'm so sorry, but it's opposite day, okay? Opposite day is actually, there's an official one on Saturday, but we're celebrating ahead of the game. We're ahead of schedule. Remember, whatever the hint is, opposite think opposite for theme. the answer. Oh, and find that hidden theme, you know, for fun. All right, here we go. Puzzle one. Your first hint is run away. Type in the letters M, A, and T. Ha <laughs> ha, that spells Matt. But don't actually run away. Okay, stay right here. But like, don't sit. Because I'm not sitting. And if you were to run away, that would be way too soon. Too soon to leave this game. Right, we just got started, so don't run away. I want you to stick around. 
Chef Superintendent coming. And in. I'm gonna make room because I want you to stand by me. Ooh, when the night you know that song has come and the land is uh, stand by me 32,300 you got it right you stood by me if you were out on that one you know what you could still come back in and stand with all of us hey guess what Thursday we are having a Grammy themed puzzle gate puzzles because it's the Grammys this Sunday I'm so excited Ooh. Check it out. And Check it out. Thursday at 9.30. Who is going to take home the Grammy? Ooh, I'm very excited for this game. I don't know. I'm going to go with Lizzo. Maybe Billie Eilish. I don't know. It's going to be, oh, it's going to be a tough one. But we're going to have all Grammy theme puzzles on Thursday at 9.30. Okay, this next one is perfect. As we're only a few weeks, a few weeks away from the big V-Day, your hint is deceitful seduction. Okay, break down both words. What is the opposite of them? I can tell you that this is something you see in movies or maybe backstage at the SAG Awards. Ooh, good hint. Did you see the photos? Look, I am here for another love story just as much as the next person. So just tell me what this means. Deceitful seduction. Why, the opposite of that would be true romance. Ooh, check this out. Have you ever seen true romance? I'm going to show you in one second. First of all, I want to say I'm in love with 26,589 of you because you got it right. You and I, we're in a true romance right now. Caught in a true romance. Uh-oh, here, look who got caught at the SAG Awards. Oh, my, Brad Pitt, Jennifer Aniston. That was a, a now and before photo and an earlier photo. Are they still in a true romance? Will there be another romance? I don't know. I said that like Chandler, though. Will there be another romance? All right, you know what the key is to true romance? Love. No, I'm just kidding. I meant to say total communication. But what day is it? Uh-oh. I don't mean total communication. I mean something far from it. Maybe you're unable to communicate because you don't understand how to. Or you can't figure out what someone else is saying. There are a number of excuses. And this answer it's one of them the opposite of total communication why you were it was lost in translation lost in translation is the answer 23,856 solved the puzzle you weren't lost in any translation you got that right and it was opposite of the hint so you were extra in into it in the game you weren't lost at all and I loved it all right, maybe you're not lost in translation, but are you lost in life? Let's give it up for the crazy creatures. We're all a little crazy, right? Sometimes. If we weren't, we'd be this answer. And to be honest, they sound boring. Although when life gets stressful, I wish things were easy and plain and simple. Like these folks. Crazy creatures. Mm-mm. Uh, why I'm talking about ordinary people. <laughs> that was my move for ordinary people. 21,947. You got it right. And you know what? You're not ordinary. Not at all. You're extraordinary. Ooh, big word. <laughs> all right, we're moving on to the next puzzle. I don't know how this can happen, but I am so sorry if you've had a failed snack at some point recently. Thank God it's on its opposite day because no snack should fail you. Mm -mm. This, the answer I'm talking about, is something we regard as the most important meal of the day. I hear that all the time, but I always forget to have it because I like to sleep in sometimes. But the answer is breakfast of champions. You want to see a breakfast of champions? Uh-oh, who that? It's Rocky. Did you see that? Did you see Rocky? His breakfast of champion. He's a champion and his breakfast is just straight up like 20 raw eggs that he just chugged. I wanted to show that to you. I know you love Rocky. You always tell me how much you love him. You love the movie. 18,071. You got it right. Breakfast of champions. All right, this next one sounds like a magical place to take a stroll. The hint is Moonrise Alley beautiful right it sounds like a, a song moonrise alley it's actually a place that i'm talking about a real place that has been around for years 
you know, it's changed over time, it's evolved, but still has that Hollywood vibe, you know? And that's because it's actually in Hollywood, right by it. The answer is Sunset Boulevard. Hey, how does this sound? Remember this? I am big. It's the pictures that got small. Oh, Norma Desmond, she says it like it is. You know what? My version of that is, I'm still big. It's your phone screens that got small. 17,297 solved the puzzle. Sunset Boulevard. You got it right. She's amazing. She was amazing in that film. You know who else is big besides Norma Desmond? You are, because you're already halfway through this. Woo! Only a few more until you don't win. Ha! <laughs> That's the opposite for win. I mean, I meant win. Okay. Are you figuring out that secret theme yet? Or has nothing occurred ever? Mmm, rough. I sure hope not. This is something so specific that you're probably going to remember. I'm not talking about something that's repeatable, either. If nothing occurred ever, I'm probably hinting at something, something specific because it happened one night. Ooh, that is the answer. It happened one night. A lot of you tell me that on Twitter. It happened one night, the one night you won HQ. <laughs> Maybe it'll be tonight. Maybe it'll happen another night. 16,260. Got it right. You know what? It happened for you tonight, Puzzle 7. You already nailed it. All right, it is so cold here lately in New York. I am considering just getting on a plane and going south. Like the birds. <laughs> this is a direction that I am referring to, or an identity, if you think about it. It's definitely rougher here in the winter than it is in the south, you know? Are you traveling anytime soon? Maybe this is the way you're going. I don't know. I don't know where you're going. The answer is north by northwest. Here's the only northwest that I can show you. Oh, there she is. Oh my God, is she fashionable. Northwest, obviously, Kim and Kanye's daughter. Guess what? We share the same birthday. Northwest and me. We're the same age, same year, everything. 14,680. You got it right. You didn't fall south. You went northwest on that puzzle. All right, if you don't live in an apartment in a city with noisy neighbors, ugh, lucky you, seriously. But maybe you live in the country and you just can't handle some noisy mutton. You know what they are? It's an animal. Some noisy mutton. This is hard to imagine, honestly. But it's a good thing we don't have to because I'm talking about the opposite of this. I'm more familiar with the entertaining version of this and less familiar with the actual event. But think about it. When something is noisy, there's only one thing you want to do, right? You want to silence it. The silence of the lambs is the answer. 12,107. You got it, right? The silence of the lambs. Should I do my, uh, my impression? It's, hello, Clarice. Is anyone out there named Clarice? That was for you. Shout out to all the Clarices playing. It's a good name. All right, look, not everyone gets along, especially in that movie. It's just a part of life. So who are these neighborhood enemies? Hopefully you don't have any. But these, the ones I'm talking about, are working on a much larger scale than just a neighborhood. They have to work together to protect their territory. Now let me tell you, if you're familiar with this universe... I know you're going to get this right. Ooh, this is a hard one. How many letters are flipping? I don't see many. <laughs> the answer is Guardians of the Galaxy. Ooh, that was hard. 6,963. You got it right. Ooh, the true word nerds came through. Wow. We lost a bunch of players on that one. I'm not going to call it schooled right now. That was really tough. But you know what? Guardians of the Galaxy, Marvel Cinematic Universe. Hello, you got it right. I love how groups of people play HQ together in all types of places. I've seen it everywhere. I bet someone's played from a retirement community. It's also your hint. Think about who usually goes here. You're kind of at a certain age when you retire. 
right? Maybe you just want to go and lounge around and play cards. Am I too young to go do that? Probably. Retirement community. What is the opposite of a retirement community? And the answer is no country for old men because a retirement community is basically a country for old men and women and those who are retired. 7,441. You got it, right? Ooh, some people use some extra lives on that last one. No country for old men. Right now, we are left with the leaders of our country for logophiles because it is time for the final puzzle. We did it. We've made it. I bet by now you've guessed the secret theme, right? Have you guessed it? Are you putting it in the chat? Do you know the secret theme? Maybe you've made some popcorn. Ooh, that's good. All right, but now's the time to focus on the final one. It's a genre. Your final hint is Eastern sci-fi. This is for the big win. What is the opposite of Eastern sci-fi? Okay, I'm talking about a famous story. And just like this land that is desired... This land is very much desired. So is this win. Tell me, are you fond of this game? Ooh, that's a pun. <laughs> are you fond of this game? Are you Henry fond of this game? Because the answer is the classic film, Once Upon a Time in the West. Oh, and I have a story to tell you. Once upon a time in the phone, 7,039 word nerds, just one HQ words. And it was a beautiful night. It was a beautiful Tuesday. Congratulations. Woo! Opposite night, secret theme, the hidden theme. Ooh, what do you think it is? Best nominated pictures? It is about the pictures. Who's nominated this year? Who's going to win best picture this year? That is what I want to know. Oh, we're in award season right now. Everyone's taking home 15 cents. Ooh, I love when it's a, a five, right? It's just like a nice number. 15 cents. Big congrats to Wheezy. 912 in first place. Hey, go get a tissue. In second place, Arstrada taking home the second place. Ooh, and in third place, I see a Chad 1M there in third. Chad does not like opposite day. This is That's why the winners are even opposite tonight, right? <laughs> All right, that is the game for tonight. Big congratulations. You made it through our opposite night. Did you enjoy it? Because I didn't. No, I'm just kidding. I did get it. Oh, it's fun to trick your brain even more. Hopefully you're proud of that win. Okay, and you can say to some ordinary people that you won. Okay, it happened one night for you. So go treat yourself to a breakfast of champions because you are one, just like Rocky. <laughs> Don't eat raw eggs, eat pancakes. I've been your host, Anna Roisman. Find me right here, okay? Find me on Twitter. And you know what? Tell me you hate me. No, I'm just kidding. Don't tell me that. It's still opposite day. Don't forget that it is Grammys week this weekend. So Thursday night, we are going to do Grammy-themed puzzles at 9.30 p.m. on Words, right after trivia, right after X. It's going to be bumping and lit. In the meantime, hey, go have a wonderful, wild Wednesday. I'm going to be thinking of you. Good night, my word nerds. Peace and love. Hey.